So to begin, transfer the pattern markings from your pattern so that you have your buttonholes in your centre front line according to the pattern. Before we construct the buttonholes, we have to stabilise the area with a lightweight interfacing. So cut this into a strip. To secure the strip, but without using any steam, use the iron at an even pressure, starting in the middle and working outwards. So in this instance, you need to measure and mark the correct position for the button. Using your measurement of the button, make the hole a bit bigger than the button and we'll pin the button position. Place the button to check. Mark with a chalk just inside the pins and keep the stop points pinned. Remove the tailor's tacks, now the pins and the chalk marks are in position. Button holes foots have a slider to measure out the hole. Line up the middle point with this line. Slide the slider here until you can see the bottom point of the buttonhole. Look here to make sure that the top bit of chalk is in line with that. This central line should be right in the middle. Select buttonhole stage 1 on the machine and the length. So look for this symbol. It's really important to test this on your fabric to decide which length you want. Now select width, it tends to preset, so in this case it's preset to 3. Begin sewing down the left hand side, the stage 1 setting. Stop on the mark and raise the needle. Change to buttonhole stage 2. Raise the needle and then select buttonhole 3 for the right hand side. Come right up to the top to match the first row. Raise the needle and select buttonhole stage 4. To cut open the hole, fold the buttonhole in half and then with a really sharp pair of scissors, carefully cut into the middle 